Welcome back to GMQC at 11. We're here at the Soul Bowl, one of the best stadiums in the Quad Cities as we get ready for United Township tonight as they welcome Galesburg to town. We're joined now by the athletic director here at United Township, Bam Pastelnik. And Bam, we kind of talked about it when we drove up, and I know you're a little biased, but, but you should be. This place in the fall with the trees it's cut into the hill, this is as good as it gets, isn't it? It, it is. It's, uh, I think, one of the most unique stadiums in the state of Illinois. Um, it's not just your typical stadium with bleachers on both sides. You know, we got beautiful scenery with the fall trees. And, you know, like you said, the stadium, you know, cut out of a hill. Um, it's a beautiful stadium. Yeah. And you've had some really good football games this year. I mean, that adds to the whole ambiance and just the atmosphere of everything, doesn't it? It does. We, you know, we've, we've had a nice year. Nick's been doing a great job uh, getting the kids to believe in. You know, we've lost three games by a total of four points, um, you know, and we're still going to, you know, look for that four and five season. So it's a, it's definitely coming. Our freshmen, you know, have a good class and our sophomores have a good class. So, you know, we're definitely on the rise. That's for sure. Talk about Nick a little bit, because we remember when, when he came in, tons of energy, still has a ton of energy. But one of those guys that has built this program behind that energy and it kind of th spreads throughout the school. What have you seen as an athletic director? And you got to love what he's built here over the last several years. It is. Uh, I think one of Nick's uh, greatest attributes is his way to relate to kids. Mm -hmm. um, we don't lose many kids throughout the season. You know, you'll see these other schools that will start with programs of 90, 100 kids. And at the end of the season, there's 60. You know, we start with 100 kids and we end with, you know, in the 90s. Mm -hmm. So he does a great job getting the kids to buy in and to believe. And because of that, you know, when you have numbers, you can start to produce. And he's done a good job of that. And he's walked the halls. He's told the guys, hey, come out and play. I, obviously, the win-loss record, that's one thing. But to get the guys to come and play, maybe as a freshman or sophomore, and get them to stay, that's a, a big kudos to him, too, because obviously kids can go and do so many other things nowadays. No, it is. You know, a, a lot of kids, you know, they make the excuse, I got to go work. You know, or I got to go watch my, uh, you know, sister or brother, which is true in a lot of situations. But the one thing I think our coaching staff has done a good job of the last few years is we have a lot of basketball players that play football. We have a lot of basketball players that run track. We have a lot of track that run football. Those three particular sports um, in the, on the Mel side really work together and get the kids out to produce and to play multiple sports because it helps. It helps for, in the training of all the sports. So this is kind of the, the calm before the storm for you. What, what are your Friday nights or Friday days, nights like? Because getting these things set up, and I know you got plenty of help, so you give love to the help that you do have, but it, it, is, it is a busy Friday for you when you're getting ready to put on a football game uh, for, for a couple thousand people. People. It is, you know, most people don't understand, you know, quite what an athletic director does and a lot of the behind scenes. Um, luckily, I do have a great crew, a great crew of administration and a great crew of uh, table workers and announcers and ticket takers and security and everything that make these Friday nights go well, um, concessions and boosters especially. Um, but it is, it's a lot of work and uh, um, I'm going to miss it. Mm -hmm. So, kind of. Yeah. So, so there is work that you do? or no, A little bit. I usually um, just go and watch a game and, and you, sit on the sidelines. You did mention you're going to miss it. It's, this, is, this is your last run. Right. Are it you is. enjoying it? Are you soaking it up? Are you taking advantage of the few Friday nights that you might have left? You know, I, I really haven't yet. Um, I think it'll hit me more that I'm retiring come in the spring, you know, in baseball when it starts getting nice out and like, ah, oh, this is it, mm. you know. Um, right now, though, I feel like I'm in the, the first trimester yeah. <laughs> of this year, you know, and, and finishing it. So I still got a lot of time to go. You know, and I still want to. years wanna... young and retiring. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who would have yes. thought <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you did senior night early in the year. Normally it's like this game, the last home game of the season. Why make that switch instead of leave it on week nine and, and do it earlier in the year like you guys did? You know, we uh, we saw a lot of schools start going to that. Uh, LaSalle Peru did it and Sterling did, does it as well. Um, and our coaches talked and they thought they wanted to try it because one, it's nicer out. Uh, the conditions are nicer. Last year, if we would have had it on senior night, that was during that blizzard that they just mentioned yeah. or that rainstorm, yeah. um, it would have been miserable. So we get the kids to do it, uh, you know, right off the bat and that way it's, it's over with and it's done with, and all the seniors are still there. We're going to talk a lot more football with Coach Welch when he joins us in the second half hour, but a little football with you, and I'm not going to make you figure out who has to lose in order for you guys <laughs> to get in, but watching these guys kind of grow up in front of your eyes because it's a younger younger Panther team, but a talented one. It's got to be fun to, from the sidelines, watch this team kind of grow up. And the beauty thing is there's been a lot of heartbreak, but they still keep coming back and they keep ready for practice and all that kind of stuff. No, they do. And we didn't know exactly what type of team we would have at the beginning of the year. 
I mean, I'm sure Nick and his staff did. Um, but we knew that we were going to be young. We knew we were uh, replacing the, a quarterback that, you know, with Kelly that had a lot of success last year. And um, Peterson's done a great job this year. But with the running backs, you know, we had to replace a couple. And we got some young kids never ready. And uh, Leo Sim that stepped up as a sophomore. So we've had some young kids really step up and prove that they're ready for the varsity level. Um, and it's made a big difference this year. Appreciate you. Appreciate Congratulations. you. Congratulations to you, my friend. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We got a lot Thank more to get you. to. We mentioned Nick Welch, the head coach of the Panthers, will be joining us in just a little bit as we get ready for week nine of the score. We'll be right back.